You know what? Will you just give me one second? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, hey. Probably not the only one here eating too, right? Come on, dude. You're totally stressing me out. You're like a labradoodle over here. Well, I have been called many things in my time, but never a labradoodle. You're like a lost puppy sitting here all by yourself. You're making me feel bad. Don't feel bad. I'm, I'm fine. You know, why wouldn't I be? I've got all the pretzel rolls I can handle. Because you thought you were going on a date, which isn't your fault, but now you're not. Yeah, no, that's true. That, that part happened, yeah. I tell you what. Why don't you give me 60 seconds of awkward date conversation? Oh. All right, give me 60 seconds, God. all right? And then I will go hit on that lovely young woman in the purple dress over there. You just think you can get some business out of her, don't you? I feel like she could definitely benefit from a, a rhinoplasty. You know, maybe an right. eyebrow lift, and then I could... I think even I could do something with that chin, to be honest with you. Oh, you little hustler. I'm a hustler. I wasn't the one stuffing business cards in my boobs. Oh, did you see that? Everybody saw it. I thought I was being subtle. No, it's okay. I admire the mood. You know, a less original girl would have probably just used her purse. <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. Mm. All right, Doc. Do me. Huh? <laughs> to perfect this. Nothing. Oh, come on. You can tell me. I won't get mad. Okay. Um, let's see. I would probably tell you to get out of my office because you're stunning. Isn't she, though? You mind if I steal her back? We were, uh, talking a bit of business. Yeah, we were. Okay. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't want to get in the middle of that business. You, uh, 